Hey guys, it's Angie, and I am doing a video on the makeup show in Chicago. Um, I know I haven't done videos in a while. I apologize for that. I've been working a lot, um, full-time kind of thing, and it's really hard to keep up. I feel like I miss you guys so much. I really do. It feels like there's this void in my life. And hopefully I'll be able to kind of start making videos again, because I, like I said, I do miss it. Uh, anyway, I did go to the makeup show in Chicago last Sunday and Monday. Um, amazing experience. Totally blew my mind and motivated me and inspired me. And I'm going to share like products that I bought. And um, yeah, I did get a chance to go to some of the keynote speakers and see some of the seminars and little demo classes and stuff. That was really, really awesome to me, especially seeing like professional makeup artists talking. I really enjoyed Maurice Stein, um, amazing, amazing seminar he did, and uh, Jenny from Mayron, who was probably one of my first inspirations, reason reasons I even tried Mayron at all. James Vincent, who kind of put the show together and just was incredible. Uh, David Classfield, he did a kind of airbrushing seminar for Obsessive Compulsive and that was really enjoyable. Uh, Reggie Wells, Sam Fine, legends in the industry, just really great to see everybody out there um, helping out other artists and great, great, awesome to see. I also was very, very fortunate to meet some of you guys. I was kind of at a loss for words, to be quite honest. I'd never met a subscriber before, you know, and it it's kind of awkward for me because I'm kind of like not, I don't have those experiences, but it was incredible in the same token. I, I felt really, really humbled and blessed that you guys would come up to me and want to take a picture with me, and I hugged you guys. I'm sorry if you don't like to be hugged. I hugged some of you twice, so I'm sorry twice. If that helps, but you know, it was really, really incredible to see you guys. And now I'm going to talk about some of the products that I bought. There is a ton of, it's going to be a long video. I apologize for that, but you know, I can't help that. I kind of went a little crazy and I did save up and I saved my pennies and I was very, very happy to get to play with all the makeup and actually get to touch it before I had to buy it because usually I have to buy everything online. Now, I did go to the preview event, the blogger event, and we got a goodie bag full of stuff. Some of this stuff is from that. I have mixed it all up, so I'm not sure what is from what, but I will, you know, show you everything that I got anyway. But I just want to tell you that. Let me start off with OCC, and I picked up their airbrush, their OCC Skin Airbrush Makeup. It's a water-based formula, and this is an R1. I'm really excited to try this out. Bethany gave me one of her OCC tints, and this is an R0. And I've tried it, and it feels really, really good. And you can get some coverage with it, which is surprising because it's supposed to be a tin moisturizer. But I really, really like that. And also this lip tar in Beta, which is this obnoxious orange color. And I like it. Big traffic cone orange, but a little more obnoxious. Embryo Elise did have a booth, and they had their Lot Cream Concentrate. I ended up doing the buy two for 45 and I split it with Bethany. And um, she gave me the little extra one. And there was another extra one, like the travel size, in the blogger bag. So I tried it. I like it. Uh, I like it. I've tried it a couple times, so I can't give you like a full go ahead and buy it. But, you know, everybody talks about it like it's the most amazing product. And so far, I really, really do enjoy it. It's enjoyable. Next up, I think everybody wanted to go to Inglot. Everybody was at Inglot. Everybody probably bought something from Inglot. And I know I did. Um, first off, I'm going to start with the gel liners. This is the matte gel liner in 77. And it's a black. I've dipped out a little bit. Incredible. Incredible. This next one is number 87. It's a teal. Incredible as well. Like, these are friggin' amazing. I did partake in the palette system and I ended up building four tin palettes. I'm going to show them to you. I'll do a more in-depth review or like a picture post with all the names on my blog, so definitely look for that. But um, since they're not really num like labeled very well, I'll do that on my blog. But this is like the primary, like the rainbow color palette. 
I like those a lot. There's mattes and shimmers and AMC and mattes and beautiful, beautifulness. This next one is more of the greens and blues. I just <laughs> did a whole palette dedicated to green and blue. Uh, they do have beautiful greens and blues. The next one is this one. It's kind of grays, a little warm gray, a little cool gray, some sparkly black, some matte, you know, gray, mattes, shinies, pretties, awesomes, perfects, love it, loves it. And then finally this one is kind of like a catch-all. Um, there's a matte white in there. Their matte white's amazing. Um, a lot of their matte eyeshadows are great. And their AMC shines. I like those finishes as well. I know for sure this was in the blogger bag. It's the Stila Smudge Proof Eyeliner in Purple Tang. Um, kind of a, a dark purple. You can see that. Got a little bit of glitteries in there. I did go to the Mayron booth a couple of times. I think they thought I was stalking them. But for good reason. I do love Mayron. I do love me some Jenny. And I picked up this Paradise Prisma palette. Like this. And I also picked up some sponges. Um... These are really cool because you activate them with water and then you would sweep the sponge through. As you can see my sponge has already been stained a little bit, I haven't washed it very well. And then you can create these beautiful like, and that fell on the ground, but you can create these beautiful like rainbow designs, just awesome, awesome, easy, fast kind of thing. I picked up one of their detailing brushes. This is great for all the lines and the kind of detail work that comes into face painting. These two little things I'm super duper excited about and they're glitter kind of gels. They're called Glitter Mark. Also by Mayron. And um, they have like this little nozzle going on. Little nozzle action. And the great thing is that you can do like little designs with them like easily. If you ever had to mix up glitter and do designs with it, you know what I'm talking about. But this is great if you want to do like accents to make up looks kind of thing. This also came in the blogger bag and it's the contour palette from Smashbox. It came with a little bitty contour brush, if you can see that. And inside you have a contour, a bronzer, and a highlight. It's supposed to be universal for all skin tones. I'm not really too, too certain about that. I haven't tried it out yet, but it gives you a little diagram of where it goes and then, the, you know, contour, bronzer, highlight. So that'll be interesting to try out and test and see if I like it or not. And also from Cinna, they had Former Brow, which is this little bitty palette. And it's kind of cool because it has, you know, a little spoolie as well as a little brush. And then these colors, kind of like the ashy kind of colors that seem to work for eyebrows. And another cool thing that that came with <laughs> are these little eyebrow stencils. So you can like totally give yourself some gaga brows maybe. I don't know. This is a long video, you guys. Wow. What should I talk about? I should talk about... Crown Brush. Crown Brush had a booth and they had a really big booth full of brushes. Who would have thunk it? They were so busy. It was crazy. It was kind of like the Inglot counter. It was like hands were flying and hands were grabbing and people were knocking each other out of the way. Maybe that's a little dramatic, but you know. Anyway, I got this big jumbo eyeshadow brush, which I like a lot. This is the Badger Deluxe Crease Brush. And then I bought two of these other deluxe crease brushes that I have used before and I like. So I like those and I'm happy to have those. There was a company there called R-Line Beauty. They do kind of private label stuff and I picked up some lip liners from them. But I just got kind of a good variety, good selection. They were only two dollars so it was a good deal. I never really heard of this brand but it's called Magnolia Makeup. They're a company based in New Orleans and um, the owner actually came up to me. I think she was the owner, if not the owner. She was really sweet, but she came up to me and she recognized me from YouTube and she handed me this and she was like, here, and I was like, why? It's beautiful, thank you, oh my goodness. And it is beautiful, <laughs> I have swatched it. And this white is insane, it's like nothing I've tried. And it's, and they are mineral makeup, it is mineral eyeshadows, there's talc, there's, you know, all those things. But it's incredible, it's really pigmented, it's buttery smooth, it's great. So if you have a chance, check them out, for sure. Hopefully I'll be doing a tutorial with this beautifulness. And thank you so much. I don't know your name. I don't think I got your name. But I really, really appreciate this and the opportunity to try it out. So, Magnolia Makeup. On to a little bit more of a special effects kind of thing. I got Prozaid, Prozaid, something or another. This was at Alcone and it was the last day of the show. And I had been eyeing it for 
the entire two days, but it was the last day of the show, and they, you know, right at the closing, and they gave it to me for like a $10 discount, so I bought it, and it's a to-go kit, it's gonna be coming in handy, and I'll be using this in videos, so, awesome. Nigel's Beauty Emporium was there as well, I picked up some eyelashes, really like these guys, they're kind of wispy looking, I mean that's just a beautiful, beautiful pair of lashes. These, dramatic, you know, that's how I like it. They also had this 12 pan palette kind of thing going on, and I'm excited to put my sugar pill eyeshadows in here. Hopefully they fit fairly well, but it's really nice, sleek, slim, easy to port around. So also in the blogger bag, there was this nice little set from Lit. Um, they do kind of the glitter base, the clear glitter base, clearly liquid glitter base. And then they also have a huge range a huge assortment arrangement arrangement assortment they have a huge assortment of glitters they're really really beautiful and um, I let her put some of these on me and they felt nice it didn't feel like I had glitter on my lids so I was really excited about that in that same glitter vein <laughs> we have eye candy and they have something called liquid sugar they have this cute little pink bag kit little kit and this is the liquid sugar you can see that and they also provided a glitter and this is Kind of a, don't know if you can see that. Okay. And a little brush, as well as a little picker upper. Like if you get glitter, like fallout, you just would pick it up with this. That's really cool. Really neat idea. And of course, we have the Makeup Forever booth. Um, busy again, kind of like Inglot, kind of like Crown Brush. Hands flying everywhere, everybody fighting over stuff. But I was happy to do it too. Uh, this is the camo camouflage cream palette concealer palette. There's corrector. There's green. There's salmon. There's you know a variety of shades. This is a number one. I am looking forward to trying that. Also got me a smoky lash. Since everything was like 40% off or 50% off, I'm not sure. I got a smoky lash. And this aqua liner in number 11, which is kind of a dark marini red. Very beautiful. Um, lipstick, my first ever Makeup Forever lipstick. My first ever Makeup Forever lipstick. And it's Rouge Artist Intense in number 31. That's what I'm wearing right now. Kind of a pretty pink mauve color. And I guess I should swatch stuff for you. That's your one swatch. You only get one. <laughs> Just kidding. I also picked up an Aqua Cream. This is number two. It's a dirty, silvery, taupey mauve. Mauve. It's not a mauve, but it's a dirty silver taupe. And I guess I'll swatch that for you too, since I'm already here. That's really, really nice. I'm wearing that underneath my eyeshadows today as a base, and it's very lovely. Very creamy, smooth kind of formulation on those. And this one is in number 20. Did I say that one? This is number two. That's number two. And this is number 20. Huh. My favorite color ever. Like a royal blue, beautiful. S Ugh. Love it. And that's it right there on the hand. Gorgeous metallic beautifulness. Um, beyond excited for that one. Love at first sight. Uh, no, for real. This is like something I've wanted for years. And I'm very, very happy and blessed and lucky to get it. Um, it was on a major discount, so that's probably the only reason I would buy it. But otherwise, just look at it. It's, let's, let's just have a moment of silence for the flash case, for the flash palette. I did get a chance to talk to a beautiful lady named Char. I don't know how to say your full name. I'm just going to call you Char. Uh, she was working with Joanna Schlipp, who has developed a really cool product. And I'm going to insert the clip here because... She can explain it better than me, and there's actually a demo so you get to see it, but not on my PhD skin. So. Okay, hi, my name is Sharzad, and I am working with RCK today. It stands for yeah. Perfect Color, created by yeah. the Harmony Makeup Artist Joanna yeah. Schlipp, who's over at the Bay now. Yeah. It is a very sexy, luminous body glow, and I'm going to do a little demo. So I'm just pumping out, I'm using the tan because I'm super tan right now.
also a really awesome goodie bag from Ruby Kisses, which is an affordable makeup line, and I'm so excited to be able to, to test these out and try them out and see what you know is great and what's not because I know a lot of you guys are wanting affordable makeup. And I'm not sure where they, they sell these. I'll probably put like a link right here. I'll probably put like a like a link for your viewing pleasure um, to where you can find them. But she has a lot of cool things and a, a lot of products. And everything's under 5 or $6. So that's really, really awesome. He has some nail polishes. Very neon, very, very 80s. We have a menthol lip salvation. Kind of like a lip balm. We have a mood gloss. Like a staining gloss. Two eyeliners, a black and a dark purple. This all over glow bronzing powder. Very, very much looking like an MSF. This is an all over glow bronzing cream. There's an HD gel liner and a beautiful bronze color that also comes with a little brush. And this is cool. This might be a bit of a a salute to Urban Decay, but it is a primer, an eyeshadow primer, a nice navy liquid eyeliner, two little eyeshadow duos, and also probably the most exciting thing to me was this HD powder. I have yet to try it, but it does have silica in it, so I have high hopes. Alright, I'm going to finish talking about Krylon. Krylon had a booth, and I was super excited to see them, as well as with Mayron. I mean, any theatrical company, I'm going to be excited to see them. And I picked up a cake liner in black, just a cake eyeliner in black, and then a lip palette in ethnic. They're discontinuing these, unfortunately, but I thought these colors are really beautiful, really nice, really excited. And that's everything that I bought at the makeup show, per se. However, the last day that I was there, I went to the Cryolon Boutique on Halstead Avenue or Road or something like that. I wasn't driving. Um, thank goodness. <laughs> and uh, they had the full range of Cryolon and they also carry the full range of Illamasqua because as the owner said, or the, the lady that was working in the store, she said, Cryolon makes 60% of Illamasqua stuff, which I didn't know. So that's kind of exciting. I ended up picking up this which is super cool. It's magic blood. It's kind of like this powder that you would put on the skin and it's just it kind of appears colorless and once you activate it with a liquid it appears as like blood. So if you're doing like a whip or if you're like doing a cutting your wrist, cutting your neck, something like that, it would show up as the like knife goes across, which is super geeky cool to me. That is called magic blood. And finally, my last purchase was from Illamasqua. It's the Rich Liquid Foundation in RF100, which is basically a white, a white foundation. And Melissa Lynn, thanks for making me buy this. This is a, you know, really opaque, very nice formulation. So I'm hoping to use this in some crazy tutorials that are coming up soon. If you've seen any products that you want like a tutorial with or a review on or any of that, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that. I know I have a lot and I showed a lot, but um, I kind of went crazy as, as I should have not done. But, you know, you live once. Lastly, I just wanted to say thank you to Melody for letting me be part of the makeup show. Thank you to Bethany for being like the sister that I never had. You are freaking awesome. Um, thank you to Melissa Lynn for hanging out with us and sharing knowledge and your brain with us. I really enjoyed listening to you speak about products and ingredients and things that I have no clue about, but I should. Uh, thank you to Jen for being awesome and sweet and nice and you better start making more videos, chick. Do it. We need you. We need you. <laughs> Amber Soros, it was great to meet you as well. You're so sweet and so nice. And like, I wish I could have hung out with y'all um, more. That's it for this video. I'm going to put some clips maybe somewhere in this video. Anyway, take care guys and I'll see you soon with new videos. Bye.